Tony. Lash is Tony X. Oh, if I look weird. It's because I have no makeup on. Okay, so I thought I would do a quick get ready with me. Something that I do when I'm running late, when I've got errands to run, and my husband's got to go to work, and my kids got to go to school. And so it's just a basic, like, quick get ready with me. So I figured I would do a chit chat. Um, so excuse the non made at bed. This is like a early, fast morning type of situation that I'm going to do for you guys. So just to kind of, I've never done one of these before and I thought it would be kind of fun. Um, so you can see me without my lashes and without my eyebrows. So yes, so I have my coffee because it's very early in the morning. Here's you guys. And I look, and the house is a mess, and I look a mess because this is real. This is real life. Okay. So, basically, what I do when I'm in a hurry, this is kind of like my go to foundation. Not my favorite foundation, it's just my go to. Um, it's the Stila Perfectly Poreless Petty Perfector. Now, I use this um, when I'm running, when I gotta go somewhere super fast. Like, if I have a meeting with the teacher, if if I gotta go to school with my kid, um, if I'm going somewhere with my husband, and I like have somewhere important that I gotta be, and I just don't have time to do all this other crap, like, unless, my, I mean, it's that time of the month right now. Well, I'm, actually, it's um, it's the end of that time of the month. So, my breakouts were here this time. Um, and then I had a little one right here. But, um, then they've faded because it's pretty much over now. My period is pretty much over. So, basically, I kind of go over. I'm using the Tarte airbrush foundation I don't know the exact name but I got it for Christmas it's the Tarte airbrush foundation brush or something like that um but I know it's air airbrush airbrush foundation brush and I kind of just buff this like cream product um into my skin um they give you a sponge but I never, I never use it because you know I mean, your face is very dimensional, and when you use just like a flat sponge, it just doesn't work. Um, so usually you don't put a lot of makeup on as far as foundation when I'm in a hurry. So this is just kind of like a basic, I'm in a hurry type look, or my everyday look. Um, yeah, so don't expect like some kind of dramatic look. Well, maybe, because I look like poo now, but you know. Um, so, this is, like I said, the Stila foundation. I do just like a quick over the face. Now, if it was one of those months where I have, like, I have a really big breakout or something like that, I would go in with my favorite concealer, which is the, I've used it so much, just like coming off. It's, it's the Make It Forever Full Coverage camouflage concealer in number six and what I would do if, like if I'll kind of show you actually just to show you for the hell of it Ooh, I got way too much on my finger because this is like major camouflage and I don't really need it but let's just add a big zit right here um so what I would do is pretty much pat it and I I can even go under my eyes because I didn't get that much sleep last night and kind of use this um you can use it under your eyes and i really like that about this concealer so yeah so um let's just say i had a big giant zip right here this stuff is amazing or amaze balls we will say um but yeah so i'm just kind of 
when I'm in a hurry, I don't have time for Beauty Blender and go put water in it and squeeze it and blah, 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 blah. Um, so I basically, this is kind of, I'm just trying to show you, like, if you're in a hurry and you need, like, a fast get ready with me type thing. Like I said, I did have a blemish here, but I don't see it anymore, so I guess it's gone. Um, but this is awesome sauce. Like, if you're looking for, a, like, a major concealer that conceals not just highlights but really conceals i would recommend the make it forever full coverage camouflage concealer but i will tell you this is not cheap just this little thing right here this little concealer thing was 35 36 dollars but it's well worth it i've had it for a long time not a long time obviously um but i've had it for a good while and it is waterproof so that's awesome. Um, so that is the base that I'm using today. I'm gonna put a clip because I really need to get to that my eye area and work on my brows because as you can see, I really don't have any. And even though my natural color is pretty dark, my natural brow is pretty light, which is weird, I know. Um, so, if I look down, I'm looking at my makeup. This is my everyday makeup bag. So, I'm looking at that. So, what I would start with would be my Anastasia Brow Wiz in taupe. Sometimes I get caramel. Um, I don't usually go um, too dark or too light. But basically, what I do is kind of dr I draw the brow I wish I had, basically. And I'm going to look into my mirror right here instead of looking at you guys so I can see if I'm doing it. Because um, I'm not super close to the mirror as I normally would be when I'm doing my brows. But basically what I do is I just kind of draw the brow that I wish I had. So I will kind of go from here. Go under. And then I kind of make a little tail right here. And I just kind of fill in my very non-brow. My other side is worse because I kind of went a little crazy. As you can see, I pretty much don't have brow on that side because I want a little cry cry on that side. Um, sometimes I get a little carried away with pluck in and all that stuff. And before you know it, I don't have a brow. Um... So that's what happened on this side. So I definitely, this is definitely my better brow. But I really like to make the line pretty sharp on my brow so it, it looks pretty good. So basically that is the perfect shape for me personally. And as you can see on this side, I have no brow. So I'm basically going to start with nothing and try to come out with something like this because this is the perfect brow. Okay, for me. Okay, so I'm definitely going to have to get to town and fill in. Actually, first what I do is just kind of, like I said, I draw like the brow I want. Sort of like this side. I kind of draw. And then after I draw, I fill in. Basically is what I do. So. I'm trying to think if there's anything new to tell you guys. Um, I feel like. I don't know if y'all feel this way. But I feel like January is like blown by. I mean, it's just crazy. I cannot believe it. Um, yeah, so today's a crazy day. Um, I'm usually basically never in that much of a rush to get ready, normally. Um, but when I am, like if I have to a meeting at my son's school or if I have to um, 
just do grown up stuff, you know, and you have to rush to get out early in the morning. Um, this is pretty much my, I know, I'm, I mean, I would be going faster than this, trust me, but, um, just kind of showing you the basics. So, I, see, I told you, I had no brow, and I basically drew a magical brow on this side. That's why I think this product is like amazeballs. It's like amazing. I mean, honestly, though, like I told you before, I don't know if I can reach it here, but let me see, yes. Okay, the NYX, the micro one, it's just as good as this. It's $10, and this one's $21 or $20. But, look, look at my brow. I mean, I have an awesome brow here, which I had no brow. I mean, look. They're on fleek, right? Right? And then, what I do to top off, I just do a clear... I used to do the, the Gimme Brow, but now I just do the clear because, I don't know, I just don't want to have too dark of a brow. So this is the Anastasia Clear. It's become my holy grail. It's my favorite one. Like I said, I'm going to look into my mirror instead of at you guys just so I can do a better job for y'all. Um, it's probably really weird seeing me without lashes but I wear lashes every day so even when I'm running late um the lashes go on so that's the only diva part of me I would say is my lashes because I, I can't help it I love my lashes okay um okay so what we are going to do I'm going to ooh, let me stop that I'm going to use my new mascara that I am cut your lashes before putting mascara on them. I do anyway. Oh, no. Okay. So like I said, I'm looking in this my vanity mirror. And I really this has become like one of my favorite mascaras. It is on the pricey side. Um but I don't know. I just really like it. This one and the, of course, the Stila Huge. And sometimes I mix the two just to get like a really, I like a really heavy, thick mascara look. You know if you watch my videos that I am a mascara junkie, eyelash junkie. And so, but at first I just really put just a base coat and then when I put my lashes on I mean I have a whole video on it if you want to go back and check that out it's like lashes 101 or some something like that well, it's one of my first one of my first videos but um yeah so My doggie is sitting by my foot. She loves to subside me when I do my makeup for some reason. I don't know why, but she does. Okay, so I've just did, like you probably can't even tell, I just did like a basic coat. Um, if you hear that weird noise, it's my laundry. I am washing and drying clothes. Um, yeah. My son goes to private school, so he has to wear a uniform. So I have to keep clean his clean his clothes clean at all times. Um, what am I doing? Okay, I need to put on my lashes. So let me get my lash stuff together. Hold on one second, guys, and I will be right back. <laughs> okay, guys, I put my lashes on because. I didn't want to have to waste time on the video and this is supposed to be quick get ready with me but I told you that's the only diva part about me is my lashes I wear false lashes daily but today I just threw on these little cheap um, Ardell glamours I think they're like five bucks I'm not wearing my trap ones today um, I just wanted a more natural look I guess today um, although 
they are kind of wonky looking because I slept in them a couple days ago. Not recently, but last time I wore them, I had fell asleep with them. So, they're not in the best shape, but I'm going to wear them at least one more time before I throw them away. Um, but now I'm going to do some major lash coating because that is important to me. I, I'm going to go with my Stila Huge Mascara because I feel like it gives it super volume. And like I said, I'm all about the volume, boys and girls. So, I'm going to try to look into my mirror over here. And you, you'll be able to see, like, the dramatic difference between me with, um, using the different mascaras and everything. And it just makes, it just really opens, it makes my eyes look bigger really opens up your eyes and all that so I mean I'm all about lashes brows and lashes I feel like frame your face um so I would I mean those are probably my main things in the morning or if I'm running late I have to have my lashes mascara and my brows did you know what I'm saying like that is important Um, so yeah, I already walked the dog this morning, kind of early, well, I say I got up early, um, my son was late for school, <laughs> um, it's not really funny, but I felt so bad for him because he hates being late for school, and I always felt, I mean, it is my fault, but I just feel so bad when he's late for school. Am I the only one that's like that? I just feel like I'm an awful mom when my son's late for school. Like, no. Like, you already have everything laid out and everything, and you think to yourself, oh, everything's going to be great. We're going to start the morning off. Have a cup of coffee. And I'm always, like, running around like, like a crazy lady, basically, is what I'm doing. Um, I told you they're a little wonky, I'm talking about my lashes now, um, because I did sleep in them, so, yeah, but look, just look how thick they are, um, but like I said, this Stila Huge Mascara is just amazing, I mean, even though I wear the fake lashes, um, I just feel like it just gives you so much, so much volume, and I don't know, it's just, I love it. It's my favorite mascara. It's awesome. Awesome sauce! Am I starting to look more like Lash Sony XO? The crap, right? Um, but this lash right here, I just feel like is not cooperating um yeah so I guess that's pretty good and then I always use I don't always use actually when I'm in a hurry I skip this part I don't use liner or shadow when I'm in a hurry but today since I'm just kind of doing a talk through even though it is a quick get ready with me I am going to put just some liner on top not on the bottom lash okay so um lately i've been using the stila all day waterproof liner just been putting that just across i don't do wing liner um sometimes i'll do a crease even if i'm in a hurry but 90 percent of the time i don't do any kind of eye makeup except lashes and mascara when I'm in a hurry because it, you know, that's all I want to focus. That's my focal point is my lashes and my mascara. Um, but like if I had time and I had, it was like date night or something, 
I'll wear um, some liner on the bottom and smudge it out. And I would probably do like a smoky eye or something like that. But this is just going to be like an everyday run out of the house look. You know what I'm saying? So I don't do a wing line. I just kind of go over my lash line like that. Just because I feel like um, it kind of camouflages the lash line a little bit to make it look a little more natural. <clears throat> I got a frog in my throat this morning. I cannot believe my washing machine is so freaking loud. I'm sorry, you guys. I did not realize it. I should have shut the door, but. Like I said, I am going somewhere this morning, and I was like, let me just do a get ready with me, because I've never done one before. And I figured, you know, what the hell, we could talk while I get ready, and then you can see how I get ready. Because I'm always curious how other people get ready, I don't know. Maybe I'm, it's kind of like the purse thing, or the what's in my bag thing. I'm curious, you know? I'm curious to know what other people's little tricks and things are for getting ready or if they look why they look so good or whatever but this one <clears throat> i swear i have a tickle in my throat or something i need some coffee my coffee's kind of cold now you guys okay but after all that dries like my area. Take that part out. Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? And then I do my bronzer and my blush. Sometimes I highlight, but usually, since this is called the like just like a fast get ready with me, I don't highlight. But I do do my lip liner. Well, my chapstick, lip liner, and lipstick. Those three things are important. My bronzer and my blush, always. Those are, like, an always. Every now and then, if I have time, I will do highlighter. But, um, so basically, these have been my two combo lip combos lately. This is a drugstore lip liner. I think it's a Rimmel. I don't remember what color it is because it's kind of worn off. Um, and this is a Buxom lip crayon and I can't see what this is either so I'm sorry that that kind of sucks but they're basically the same color and they just work really well together um yeah so um and also I've been using the lately I've been using I switch out between the Too Faced uh uh, chocolate Soleil medium deep bronzer and I switch out between that one and the Tarte Park Avenue Princess bronzer this one has a little more glitz in it a little more shimmer and this is more matte so but depending on how I feel that day I switch switch them out so I don't really know which one I want to use today but those are my bronzers um let me see what else I got in here uh, oh yeah, and my blush I've been using is the Tarte um, Pampered, and so that's my chapstick, which is my basic chapstick that I use. That I got one of my bo birch boxes or Ipsy's or something. So I do draw over the line just a tad. Okay, so that is my lip liner. Like I said, I'm sorry that I can't tell you the colors. Um, but any combo will work. And this is just a pencil. Like a, not a pencil, but a, like a lip crayon type thing. Um, I have a lot of them lot of them from um by beauty
So basically, that is my lip combo. And now I'm going to do my bronzer and my blush. And this is basically just my everyday, like, I'm in a hurry. I got to go. I don't have time. <sighs> like, you know, it's like an everyday. Like, I want to look pulled together, but I don't have time. Look. Okay, so that is my blush. I said I don't get too crazy with my makeup when I'm in a hurry. Um, if my camera cuts off, this is probably the last thing I'll do is my, I guess I'm going to use the Tarte today. And I pretty much, I don't really contour. I just kind of use it like if I was outside in the sun. And the sun kind of kissed. Um, and then I dry, drag it down my neck a little bit. But like I said, basically, I, I use it just like as a bronzer, not really a contour. I do that more like if I'm date night and I really want to look a certain way and that I do sometimes I if I have time I, there's a last step before my camera cuts off it always cuts off at a certain time but if I want to brighten up my eyes or if I hadn't got enough sleep I will do this last even if I'm running late and I will just kind of pat this in like I said sometimes I don't have time to grab a beauty blender and all that crap so I will just pat this in the corner of my eye do you see how bright that opens up my eyes? Like that. It's really quick. So this is just a basic everyday get ready with me makeup look. Hope you liked it. Um, but yeah, it's just like my basic everyday look um nothing too crazy i will show you one more thing if i have time but if the camera cuts off I'm, i just want to say i love you to pieces you guys and i hope you have a great day and thank you for hanging out with me for uh, a quick to get ready with me this is my first one i've ever done um but i'm gonna use the becca um just really quick i'm gonna show you what i use sometimes if I'm in a hurry, um, I'll use my finger. And then I will go quickly, 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 quickly. And just kind of go over it. And that's the Becca um, Champagne Pop highlight. And that's it. That's everything. So yeah, I just want to say I love you to pieces, guys. Have a great day. Thanks for getting ready with me. Bye.